Hey everyone, Tips here, Tips Gaming. Uh, today we're gonna do a box here of mystery boosters. Uh, pretty excited to give this a shot. Sounds like a lot of fun just to see all the random stuff they threw in with old borders and all. So, looking forward to this one. Uh, let's get started. All right, right out of the gate, we had a Battle Mastery from Battle Bond. Uh, I didn't buy a lot of Battle Bond, so nice card to pick up. Topan Freeblade from Origins. Didn't, didn't play a lot of Origins. I picked some up. Blue Elemental Blast. It's a nice throwback card with the M25 version there, though. Right into Bean. That is... From Fate Reforged, White of Precinct 6, from Commander 16. I didn't really know that card, plus one, plus one for each, plus one, plus one for each creature card in your opponent's graveyards. Hmm. Marsh Hulk, Dragons of Tarkir, Old Megamorph. Suncrowned Hunters, Ingot Chewer, Dirkwood Baloth, Brood Hunter Worm, Saltai Soothsayer from Cons of Tarkir, Jukabog, Archangel. It's such a great art. I didn't even know they printed this with a new border. Oh, it's a commander set, I think. I'm not even sure. I think it's Commander Set. Uh, Drana Calastria Blood Chief. Commander 2017. And we got Foil Morrow. Uh, that's kind of cool. I didn't look too much at the list of um, the foils. So, but that's kind of a cool one. All right, back to we got Sacred Cat, Ninth Bridge Patrol, uh, Thrumming Bird, Commander Set, Proliferate's always good, Thought Collapse, Skeletal Scrying, Commander 14, Saltai Rune Mark, Sulphurous Blast, from Commander Anthology, Beetleback Chief from Plane Chase Anthology. Bristling Boar, Metal Sentinel, Jungle Barrier out of uh, Explorers of Ixalan. That's what that is, I think. Uh, Sorcerer's Broom on Throne of Eldrain. Hakan's. Drumgold Scourge out of Cold Snap. Uh, two black and a generic for a 3 3. Legendary creature, Zombie Knight. You may play a con Drumgold Scourge from your graveyard, but not from anywhere else. As long as the con is in play, you may play Knight cards from your graveyard. When the con is put into a graveyard in play, you lose two life. Uh, feels like a lot of hoops to jump through for a 3 3. I mean, let's play other knights from your graveyards, which is good, I guess. Vigor. Uh, three green, three generic for a 6 6 elemental incarnation with trample. If damage would be dealt to another creature you control, prevent that damage. Put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature for each one damage prevented this way. If Vigor is put into a graveyard from anywhere, shuffle it into its owner's library. That's, that's fun. Um, yeah. I think there's some combos with him. Oh, and a foil chimney imp <laughs> uh, out of the original Mirrodin. Healer's Hawk, Ghost Blade Eidolon, uh, two generic and a white for a 1-1 one, one with double strike, enchanted creature, oh, bestow for five generic and a white, enchanted creature has plus one, plus one, and double strike. Um, it seems pretty high costed for anything I'd want to use it for but I don't know uh, frost links 
Slide to Flame Maw Core. Three generic and blue for a 2 2 flyer. Tap to the one damage target creature or player. There's Morph for two blue. Grixis Slave Driver. Uh, read the Bones. Death by Dragons. Uh, four generic, two red. Each player, other than target player, creates a 5 5 red dragon creature token with flying. It's just kind of a. The old middle finger at one player in a multiplayer game. Valakut Invoker, Fog, Feral Prowler, uh, Fire and Ice. Nice split card. Oh, Soul Ring, because getting one in every commander deck isn't enough. Uh, I mean, it's a great card. I just don't even know how many copies I own anymore. Uh, Manatithe. Where we got a Prey Caesar Dragon from Plain Jace Anthology. Uh, four generic, two red for a 4 4 flyer with Devour 2. Uh, whenever it attacks, it deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of plus one plus one counters on it. Um, that's kind of fun. I'm not sure what deck it would fit in, but it's a neat concept, I think. And then a foil, uh, Savers of Kamigawa card. Reki, the history of Kamigawa. Uh, whenever you play a legendary spell, draw a card. Two generic and a green for a one two. So, not bad. Kind of cool foil. Lunark Mantle. Desperate Sentry. Mystical Teachings. Gaseous Form. Absorvis. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Uh, Infest. All creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn for two black and a one generic. Boiling Earth, Bombard, what set is that even? G uh, Game Night, I bet. Okay. Uh, Arbor Elf, Nest Invader, oh, Bloodbraid Elf, that's back. Uh, I kind of have a hatred of this card because a friend of mine in my playgroup is obsessed and you can only lose to the same card so many times before you just get tired of seeing it. But I like the new art. So it's got that going for it. Plain Chase Anthology. I guess it's not that new. New to me. Sunset Pyramid. Sakashima the Imposter. That's kind of a fun old clone style card. 3-1. Uh, two generic, two blue. Uh, Human Rogue. As it enters the as it comes into play, I forgot they just printed these exactly like they were. You may choose a creature in play. If you do, Sakashima comes into play as a copy of that creature, except its name is still Sakashima. It's still legendary, and it gains this the ability to pay two and two blue, return Sakashima to its owner's hand at the end of turn. So it's fun. You can change up what it's copying. It'd be nice if you could just pay and change it rather than pay and return it to your hand and then have to cast it again. But maybe that'd be too good. Tempt with Discovery uh, from Commander 2016. Three generic and a green. Search your library for a land card and put it onto the battlefield. Each opponent may search his or her land library for a land card and put it onto the battlefield. For each opponent who searches a library this way, search your library for a land card and put it onto the battlefield. Then each player who searched a library this way shuffles. So you can get one, but then I get another one. I like it. Uh, wear and Tear in Foil. Destroy Target Artifact, Destroy Target Enchantment. Nice, simple card. Emerge Unscathed. Leonin Relic Warder. Enters the battlefield, you may exile Target Artifact or Enchantment. When it leaves the battlefield, return the exiled card to the battlefield under its owner's control. It's kind of strange that they... The name implies that it's like protecting your guardian the artifact but really it's going to be a removal uh, anyway uh, treasure hunt labyrinth guardian one generic and blue for a two three comes to the target of a spell sack it embalm three generic and a blue diabolic edict uh, good old sacrifice Induced Despair, a Spike Shot Goblin, two generic and a red, 
for 1-2 with uh, an ability pay 1 red, tap it, spike shot goblin, deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. Dragon Fodder. Alpine Grizzly. Rune Claw Bear. Giant Baiting. Sigil of Valor. Uh, whenever equipped creature attacks alone, it gets plus one plus one until a turn for each other creature you control. Kind of neat. Phantasmal Dragon. Two, generic, two blue for a 5-5 five, five flying. Comes to target of a spell or ability, sacrifice it. Solemn Simulacrum. Probably said that wrong. Why is that word so hard for me right now? Simulacrum. I don't know. Anyway, this is from... Oh, one of the dual decks. Uh, sad Robot. Four generic, 2-2. Two, two. Enter the battlefield, search for a basic land, put it on the battlefield, tap, shuffle, dies, draw a card. So, kind of a value card from back in the day, like play value. Uh, Pyretic Ritual. Uh, it's a red dark ritual, but it costs one more mana, which makes it way worse. Uh, foil, though, kind of cool. Uh, got a humble, ephemeral shields, coral trickster, messenger jays, Phyrexian reclamation. Uh, this is one from Commander 2015. One black for enchantment. Which you're gonna black pay two life return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. It's one of the older recursion cards that used to see a lot of play, but now there's so many options. Uh, Subtle Strike, Skirk Prospector, Torch Courier, The Crowd Goes Wild. Uh, battle Bond names are great. Uh, one green and X for a sorcery with assist. Another player can pay up to X of this spell's cost. You choose the value of X. Support X. Put a Plus one, plus one counter on each of up to X target creatures. Each creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it gains trample until the end of turn. So, your opponent can help you pay for it. Lead the Stampede. Look. Belligerent Brontodon. Uh, each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. For a 4 6, for 5, generic, a green, and a white. Much cheaper ways to get that ability, but it does come on a 4-6 body, so. Sajiri Refuge, uh, blue-white, ta understapped, gain a life. Angelic Destiny, that's our first mythic of the box. Uh, two generic and two white for a aura, enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus four, plus four, has flying and first strike, and is an angel in addition to its other's type. When Enchanted Creature dies, return Angelic Destiny to its owner's hand. So, it's a cool aura, but auras have their flaws. Approach of the Second Sun. Um, six generic and white. Sorcery, if it was cast from hand and you've cast another spell named Approach from the Second Sun in this game, you win the game. Otherwise, put approach from the second sun into its owner's library, seven from the top, and you gain seven life. So, I've seen this used to be a win condition for a while in a deck standard, I think it was. Uh, another mirrored in foil here Stalking Stones. Taps for a generic. I believe it would be a colorless now. Taps for a colorless. Uh, pay six Stalking Stones becomes a 3 3 artifact creature that's still a land. Oh, this effect doesn't end at a turn. I guess I... I don't remember this card existed, really. Healing Grace. Uh, Felidar Umbra. One generic, one white. For an aura, enchant creature. Enchant creature has lifelink. Uh, pay a generic and white to attach it to target creature you control. Uh, totem armor. If enchant creature would be destroyed, instead remove all damage from it and destroy this aura. So That's cool. Um, a number that lets you bounce it around from Plane Chase Anthology 
Sealock Monster came out of a dual deck. I assume the one with uh, Kiora. Sealock Monster. Three generic, two blue, five five. Can't attack unless defending player controls an island. Five generic, two blue for Monstrosity three. Uh, when it becomes monstrous, target land becomes an island in addition to its other types. Okay. Slither Blade, Scarab Feast, Ancestral Vengeance, Swashbuckling, Pyrotechnics, uh, 4 Drank and Red, for Sorcery deals 4 damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or players. Aggressive Urge, Dragon Scarred Bear, Urban Evolution, uh, 3 Drank, a green and a blue, Sorcery, draw 3 cards, you may play an additional land this turn. Uh, this one's out of Modern Masters 3. Very blue-green thing to do. Draw some cards, play some lands. Serrated Arrows. Oh, another Mythic here. Soren Markov, the original Soren. Three generic, three black for a Planeswalker with four loyalty counters. Plus two, deals two damage to target creature or player and you gain two life. Minus three, target opponent's life total becomes ten. And negative seven, you control target player's next turn. So it's a little spendy, but that negative three really uh, tilts some people. We've got a Grave Crawler. This one also from a dual deck. Uh, one black for a two one. Zombie, can't block. You may cast it from your graveyard as long as you control a zombie. So nice recurrable creature there. And a foil arc type of endurance. Uh, six generic, two green for a six five. Creatures you control have hexproof. Creatures your opponents control lose hexproof and can't have or gain hexproof. Um, it's an enchantment creature. I really like the archetypes. They're fun. Swords to plowshares. Um, one white. Exile target creature. Its controller gains life equal to its power. Instant. Great card. Always good to see. Hyena Umbra, Brilliant Spectrum, High Tide Hermit, Mind Rot, Thraben, Thraben, Thraben Foul Bloods, Zombie Hound, I wonder if they're a dog now, just look, Krenko's Command, out of a dual deck, Inferno Jet, deals 6 damage to target opponent, has Cycling 2, 5 generic and red, Ferocious Zeng from Global Series 1. I uh, wonder if that just didn't do well. I don't think we've seen any any news about a Global Series 2. Thornwield Archer. Wooly Thoktar. Red, green, white for a 5-4. That's, that's it. It's a beast. Bonesaw. Ancient Ziggurat, uh, it's an uncommon land out of Shards of Alara. Is that Shards or is that Conflux? I think that's Conflux. Uh, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, spend this mana only to play creature spells. Adorned Pouncer, generic and a white for a 1 1 double strike. Eternalize, pay 3 and 2 whites. Then you get a 4 4 double striker for 5. Not bad. Frozen Aether, uh, three giant and blue artifacts, creatures, and lands your opponents control come into play tapped. Foil, I like the Planar Chaos alternate borders. Looks really great in foil, actually. Knight of the Tusk, Fire Hoof Cavalry, Ujitai Interceptor, uh, Guard Gomazoa. Two generic and blue for a 1-3 defender with flying. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to guard Gomazoa. Because who would want to hurt a jellyfish? Uh, Black Cat. Skeleton Archer. Mark of Mutiny. Two generic and a red for a sorcery. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Put a plus one plus one counter on it and untap it. That creature gains haste until end of turn. I guess there just has to be one of these in every single set. Brazen Wolves. Ooh, Rancor. Uh, 
One green for an aura. Enchanted creature has plus two plus zero and has trample. Uh, put the graveyard in battlefield. Return Rancor to its owner's hand. Cross and Druid. Fusion Elemental. White, blue, black, red, green. One of each color for an eight eight. Etched Oracle. For generic. For a zero zero with sunburst. And this battlefield with plus one plus one counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. Pay one to remove four plus one plus one counters from etched oracle. Target player draws three cards. So five mana to draw three cards. Yeah, I don't know. Martyr's Cause. Sacrifice creature. Prevent all damage to a creature or player from one source. Ooh, another mythic. Uh, Liliana. Death's Majesty. Three jack, two black for a planeswalker with five loyalty. Plus one, create a two-two black zombie creature token. Put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Minus three, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature is a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Negative seven, destroy all non-zombie creatures. Liliana cards are always fun. Soul's Attendant. Uh, one white for a 1-1. One, one. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may gain one life. Out of Rise of the Eldrazi. Where they apparently didn't just want to reprint Soul Warden. Because reasons. Core Firewalker. Two white for a 2-2 two, two with pro red. Uh, whenever a player casts a red spell, you may gain a life. Shining Aerosaur, Peel from Reality, Humungulus, Death Denied, Catacomb Slug, Goblin Motivator, Goblin Assault, Out of Modern Masters 3, 2 generic and a red, for enchantment at the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one red Goblin Creature tokens with haste. Goblin Creatures attack each turn if able. Gift of Paradise, Sakura Tribe Elder, Corpse Jack Menace, uh, two generic, a black, and a green. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a creature you control, put twice that many plus one plus one counters instead. I totally read that in a way that isn't worded, but it, you got the idea. 4-4 uh, four, four, Fungus. Sandstone Oracle. Seven generic for 4-4 four, four, Flyer. When it enters the battlefield, choose an opponent. If that player has more cards in hand than you, draw cards equal to the difference. That could be handy. Get to War Cry. Two generic and a red. Enchantment. Pay one red. Target creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Desolation twin. An Eldrazi rare. Ten for a ten ten. When you cast Desolation twin, put a ten ten colors Eldrazi creature token onto the battlefield. So, obviously, as a twin, it makes a copy of itself. And, ooh, foil send triplets. That's pretty. Um... I forgot that this was a thing. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, two generic, a white, a blue, and a black. For a 3-3, three, three, at the beginning of your upkeep, choose target opponent. This turn, that player can't play spells, direct read abilities, and plays with his or her hand revealed. You can play cards from that player's hand this turn. God's Willing, Apostle's Blessing, Cloud Elemental, Nagging Thoughts, Renegade's Getaway, Dead Eye Tormentor, Rush of Adrenaline, Crowd's Favor, Fade into Antiquity, Sampling Migration. All right, Extract from Darkness, three jack, blue and a black. For sorcery, each player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, then put a creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So it's fun, you can hit anyone's graveyard, it's nice. Grey Pelt Refuge, enters tapped, gain a life, green or white. Phantom Centaur, two generic, two green for a two zero with pro black. Comes into play with three plus one plus one counters on it. If damage would be dealt to Phantom Centaur, prevent that damage, remove a plus one plus one counter from Phantom Centaur. That is a phantom ability. Oh, Torment of Hailfire. Two black, an X for a sorcery. Repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. 
and Treasonous Ogre in foil. Creature in red for a 2-3 with Dethrone. Whenever this creature attacks, the player with the most life, or tied for most life, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Pay three life, add one red to your mana pool. Oh, that last part's kind of cool. Benevolent Ancestor, uh, Sarah's Embrace, uh, two genetic, two white. For an aura, enchanted creature has plus two, plus two, and has flying and vigilance. That's cool. Thought Scour, Scab Goliath, five genetic and blue. For a six, nine, Zombie Giant, has an additional cost to cast Scab Goliath, exile two creature cards from a graveyard, and it has Trample. You don't see a lot of Trample in blue. Dirge of Dread. Dread Return. Return target creature card from graveyard to the battlefield for two generic, two black. Sorcery. Uh, flashback. Sacrifice three creatures. So it's a pretty reasonably costed recursion spell. Tar Fire. Tribal Instant Goblin. Deals basically a shock, but it's tribal. Forge Devil. Conifer Strider. Seal of Strength. Tatiova, Benthic Druid. Three generic green and blue for a 3-3 three, three legendary Merfolk Druid. Wherever land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and draw one card. Universal Automaton. Knight of Dawn. Oh, they're going to get me here with... I don't know if this is... What rarity this is, but... Um, one jack, two white for a 2 2 first strike. You can pay two white to give it protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. A crow and horse. Uh, four generic for a 0 4 defender. In this battlefield, an opponent gains control of it. Being in your upkeep, each opponent creates a 1 1 white soldier creature token. So give them a 0 4, but you get a 1 1 each upkeep in exchange. Echoing Decay, one generic and a black for an instant target creature. And all the creatures with the same name as that creature get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Take out a token army. Coalition Honor Guard, Mardu Horde Chief, Somber Hover Guard, Scroll Thief, Walking Corpse, uh, Dark Blast, one black. Uh, target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Instant has dredge three. Symbol threw me off, but it's from one of the guild kits. Distemper of the blood. Leopard spotted. Jio? I don't know how to say that. Uh, guild global series. Turn to the earth. Take down. Iroas's champion. Uh, one generic red and a white for a 2-2 two, two double strike human soldier. Crystal Chimes, three generic for an artifact, pay three, tap, sack, return all enchantment cards from your gear right to your hand. Oh, another mythic. Kargan Dragon Lord. Uh, two red for a start as a 2-2. Two, two. Then you can level it up for one red. Once you get to level four, it becomes a 4-4 four, four flyer. Once you get to level 8, it becomes an 8-8 eight, eight Flying Trample with Fire Breathing. Pay a red, plus 1, plus 0. Oh. Release the Gremlins. That feels a little... backwards there. Kind of let down from the Dragon Lord. Uh, two X and a red for a sorcery. Destroy X target artifacts. Create X-2-2 two, two red Gremlin creature tokens. Paradox Haze. It's a fun card. Two generic and blue for an aura enchant player at the beginning of each enchanted player's first upkeep each turn. That player gets an additional upkeep step after this step. Um, played around a lot with this back in, when it was in standard way back in the day from Time Spiral. Uh, with this and suspend cards. So. Angelic Gift. Uh, Gust Cloak Skirmisher. Three generic and white for a 2-3 flyer. Whenever it becomes blocked, you may untap it and remove it from combat. Concentrate. Two generic, two blue. Draw three cards for sorcery. Chillbringer. Gifted Aetherborn. 
two black for a two three death touch lifelink. Never happened. Cartouche of Zeal. Bloodstone Goblin. Earthen Arms. Ancestral Mask. Two generic and a green for a aura. An aura. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus two for each other enchantment on the battlefield. Putrefy. One generic of black and green for an instant. Destroy a target artifact or creature. It can't be regenerated. An alloy Mirror. Sapphire Charm. Uh, one blue for an instant. Choose one. Target player draws a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Or target creature and opponent controls phases out. Or target creature gains flying until end of turn. Coligan's Command. Uh, nice command there. Uh, one generic, a black and a red for an instant. Choose two. Return target creature card from a graveyard to your hand. Target player discards card. Destroy target artifact or Coligan's command deals two damage to target creature or player. Saw a lot of play in standard, I believe. Ooh. Is that? No, because time spiral. I was going to say, is that a first time foil? But I don't think there are any first time foils if I remember reading about this right. Uh, Celestial Dawn. One generic, two white. Lands you control are planes. Non land cards you own that aren't in play. Spells you control and non land permanents you control are white. You may spend white mana as though it were mana of any color. You may spend other mana only as though it were colorless mana. Um, I don't even know what the use is for Celestial Dawn anymore. I don't know if it ever really had a good use. But uh, it's got an old border in its foil and it looks cool. Wild Griffin. Crib Swap. Ninja of the Deep Hours. Dispel. Unburden, Breeding Pit, 3 generic and a black, enchantment, beginning of your upkeep, sack it unless you pay 2 black, end of your turn, put a 0, 1, black throw all creature token into play. It's always seemed too expensive to me, but Anger, 3 generic and a red for a 2, 2 haste, as long as Anger is in your graveyard, any control mountain creatures you control have haste. So, ways to give all your guys haste are good. Blazing Volley, Terrain Elemental. Rock Smallers, Death Reap Ritual, two generic black and green for an enchantment. At the beginning of each end step, if a creature died this turn, you may draw a card. Uh, Reliquary Tower, you have no maximum hand size, land that taps for one colorless mana. Greater Gargadon, nine generic and a red for a nine seven. Uh, it's beast, it's got suspend ten for one red. Remove an artifact creature or land. Remove a time counter from Greater Gargadon. Activate this ability only if Greater Gargadon is suspended. So, got a way to speed up his suspend there. Chaos Warp. Uh, two generic and red. The owner of target permanent shuffles it into his or her library, then reveals the top card of his or her library. If it's a permanent card, he or she puts it onto the battlefield. And a second foil Morrow. That's odd. I've always liked tomorrow. It's a cool card. That one being from 8th edition. Inspired Charge. Mother of Runes. One white, one one. Target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn if you tap it. Spire Monitor. Water Courser. Die Young. Stinkweed Imp. Seismic Stump. Ruinous Gremlin, Cross and Tusker, Affectionate Indrick, 5 generic and a green for a 4 4. As is Battlefield, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. Slave of Bolas, um, 3 generic, a blue or red, and a black. Sorcery, gain control of target creature, untap that creature, gain haste until end of turn, sack it at the beginning of the next end step. I always kind of like this card because that's just the way I am. I'm going to borrow your thing for a minute and then wreck it. Uh, Jungle Hollow. Carpet of Flowers. Uh, so that's a pretty cool enchantment. Uh, nice uncommon. One green for an enchantment. During your main phase, you may add up to X mana pool of uncolored your mana pool where X is the number of islands target opponent controls. So a little narrow, but if you got somebody playing blue, it can be a real big boost. 
Night Howler. Uh, one giant, two black for zero, zero. Enchantment Creature Horror. Night Howler and Enchanted Creature. You get plus X plus X for X is the number of creature cards in all graveyards. It's got Bestow for two generic, two black. Interesting that if you play this with nothing in your graveyard, it dies. I didn't think they printed a lot of cards like that, but... There it is. Uh, Gorilla Tactics. One generic and red. For you. Instant. Deals two damage to a creature or player. Whenever a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard Gorilla Tactics, Gorilla Tactics deals four damage to a creature or player. So, Kind of a fun concept. I don't know how well it plays out in practice. How often are you playing against discard? Lieutenants of the Guard. Dragon's Presence. Fairy Invaders, Laboratory Maniac, 2 Chank and Blue for a 2 2 Human Wizard. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. Wrench Bind, Alley Strangler, Kenra Scrapper, Price of Progress, 1 Generic and a Red, deals damage equal damage to each player equal to twice the number of non basic lands that player controls. Stocking Tiger out of the 2017, I don't remember what they called them, starter sets, basically. That's funny. Gift of Growth, Obelisk Spider, one generic black and a green, one for reach. Whenever it deals hammer damage to a creature, put a minus one, minus one counter on that creature. Whenever you put one or more minus one, minus one counters on a creature, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Eldrazi Devastator, Caravex Torch, uh, wow, I don't even know how this is probably working now. I guess probably just instants that target it. Each cost an additional two to play. Uh, X and a red, Caravix Torch Sorcery. Deals X damage to a creature or player. But costs two extra to target it with interrupts. Um, all is dust. Nice board wipe there. Seven generic for a tribal sorcery, Eldrazi. Each player sacrifices all colored permanents he or she controls. Ooh, Myogen of Life's Web in foil. Six generic, three green for an 8-8. Eight, eight. Comes into play with a Divinity Counter on it if you played it from your hand. Indestructible as long as it has a Divinity Counter on it. Remove a Divinity Counter from Myogen of Life's Web. Put a number of creature cards from your hand into play. Uh, that last thing seems pretty crazy. If you can get enough cards in your hand. Sanctum Gargoyle. Devil Thorn Fox. Good old Counterspell. Uncomfortable Chill. March of the Drowned. Dousing Gloom. Young Pyromancer. Generic and Red for a 2 1 Human Shaman. What do we cast an instant sorcery? Create a 1 1 Red Elemental Creature Token. Uh, Flame Jab. 1 Red for a sorcery. Deals 1 damage to a creature or player. As retrace, you may cast this card from the graveyard by discarding a land card in addition to paying to the costs. Thrashing Bronze of Dawn, one jank, two green for a three four with pay one, sack it, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Uh, it's a dinosaur. Thornhide Wolves, Salt Hide Charm, Black, Green, Blue. Uh, instant, choose one, destroy a target Nano. nano. Destroy target monocolored creature. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Draw two cards, then discard a card. Thran Golem. Uh, five generic for a 3-3. Three, three. As long as it is enchanted, it gets plus two, plus two, and has flying, first strike, and trample. Oracle of Nectars. Out of Shadow Moor, I believe that is, yes. Two generic, and then one green or white for an elf cleric. Pay X tap, you gain X life. Oh, another mythic. Queen Marchesa. One, a red, a white, and a black. For a 3-3, three, three. a legendary human assassin. Death touch and haste. Enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, if an opponent is the monarch, put a 1-1 one, one black assassin creature token with death touch and haste onto the battlefield. Another wear and tear. It's the second double foil. 
in only 24 packs and there's 121 different ones it's kind of disappointing but things happen guided strike ephemerate storm sculptor monastery lore master scuttling death Touch of Moonglove, Fierce Invocation, Bomber Core, Manglehorn, two generic and a green, two two beast. When it enters the battlefield, you may destroy a target artifact. Artifacts your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. Hmm. Creeping Mold, two green and two generic for a sorcery, destroy a target artifact, enchantment, or land. Winding Constrictor, black and a green for a 2-3 when if one or more counters would be placed on an artifact or creature you control. That many of those counters plus one are placed on the permanent instead. If you would get one or more counters, you get that many of those counters plus one instead. Cross and Verge. And it's Battlefield Tap. Tap for colorless. Pay two and tap it, sack it, search your library for a forest card and a plants card, put them on the battlefield tap, gun shuffle your library. That's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I've seen the card before, but it just feels brand new to me. It's from Commander 2018 here. Wargate. X plus green, white, blue. For a sorcery, search your library for a permanent card with converted mana cost to X or less, put it into play, and then shuffle your library. Two-headed giant, uh, two generic, two red for a four-four. Whenever two-headed giant attacks, flip two coins. If both coins come up heads, two-headed giant gains double strike until end of turn. If both coins come up tails, two-headed giant gains menace until end of turn. Mana weft sliver, Ooh, a foil sliver. One generic and a green for a one-one. Sliver creatures in control have tap add one mana of any color to your mana pool. That's kind of cool. Slivers are. I never got two in the slivers. Oh, this is M14 where the slivers were weird and looked like humans. Or humanoid. Doomed Traveler, Center Soul, Convolute, Shipwreck Looter, Eye Blight's Ending, Goal Cars Accomplice, Fiery Hellhound. Goblin Rough Rider, Tajuro Warcaller, uh, 3 Janet, 2 Green for a 2 1 with Rally. It's an Elf Warrior ally. Whenever it or another ally enters the battlefield on your control, creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn. Blanchwood Armor, 2 Janet and a Green for an Aura. Enchanted creature gets plus 1 plus 1 for each forest you control. Mortify, Generic a White and a Black for an instant. Destroy target creature or enchantment. Uh, Flare Husk, Juicy Apprentice, uh, one generic and a blue for a one two with pay two. It's a human wizard with pay two and a blue. Tap it, draw a card. If you have nine or more cards in hand, flip it. Flips to Tomoya, the revealer. Still a human wizard, but it's a legendary now. Two three. Uh, Pay three and two blue. Tap it. Target player draws X cards where X is the number of cards in your hand. Oh, another mythic. A planeswalker. Nissa, voice of Zendikar from Oath of the Gatewatch. One generic, two green for a planeswalker with three loyalty. Put a plus one is put a zero one green plant creature token onto the battlefield. Uh, negative two. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Uh, negative seven, you gain X life and draw X cards where X is the number of lands you control. And then another foil chimney imp. I say another. I'm not sure if it's actually another. I'm very intrigued. Four generic and a black. When chimney imp is put into a graveyard from play target opponent puts a card from his or her hand on top of his or her library. 
Yes, so we're now at two morrows, two wear and tears, two chimney imps. Hmm. Interesting. Champion of Erishin, Voice of the Provinces, Shaper Parasite, Fleeting Distraction, Windgrace Acolyte, Cackling Imp, Avarax, Wojak Bodyguard, Pima Outrider, Roar of the Worm, uh, 6 generic and a green for a sorcery, create a 6-6 six, six green worm token creature, has flashback of pay 3 and a green. Shambling Remains, 1 generic a black and a red, uh, for a 4-3 zombie, horror camp block has unearthed for black and red. Burnished Heart, 3 generic for a 2-2, two, two. artifact creature elk, uh, sacrifice it. Search the library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Saving Magpie, two generic, two blue for a 1 3 bird with flying. Uh, whenever Thieving Magpie deals damage to one of your opponents, you can draw a card. Corsair of Crufix, uh, one generic, two green for a 2 4 enchantment creature centaur. Play at the top card of your library revealed. You may play at the top card of your library if it's a land card. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain a life. And for we've got Coolrath Knight, Shadowmoor again, three generic, um, and two black or red hybrid, for a 3-3 three, three elemental knight with flying and wither, creatures your opponent's control with counters on them can't attack or block. Rally the Peasants, marked by Honor, Prosperous Pirates, Displace, Painful Lesson, Stab wound, uh, two generic and a black for an aura. Enchanted creature gets minus two, minus two. At the beginning of the upkeep of enchanted creatures, controller that player two loses two life. Flame wave invoker, two generic and red for a two two goblin mutant to pay seven and a red. Flame wave invoker deals five damage to target player or planeswalker. Hyena pack, canopy spider, Solana ledge walker, riptide crab, blinding soul eater. Triumph of the Hordes, the fun surprise wing condition in random EDH commander decks, uh, two generic and two green for a sorcery. Till on turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain trample and infect. So a little bit of a, you see it coming surprise, but still, when you're not playing an infect deck and you just drop this on the table, it can really catch people off guard. Living Death, uh, three generic and two black for a sorcery. Each player exiles all creature cards from his or her graveyard, then sacrifices all creatures he or she controls, then puts all cards he or she exiles away on the battlefield. So basically you swap and play for your battlefield. Uh, good old Tempest card, but we got the M25 reprint. Kind of wish they had done the old border, but I guess they wanted the new wording probably to be slightly less confusing. Oh, and another Stocking Stones as our fourth double foil. Maybe we'll get another send triplets. Wouldn't complain about that one. Cord homunculus, bulwark giant, portent, jeering homunculus, moment of craving, uh, tar snare, magma spray, arc trail, one generic and red for sorcery, deals two damage to a creature or player and one damage to another type of creature or player. Gnarled pack, eternal witness. Uh, the Ultimate Masters version. One generic, two green for a 2 1. Enters the battlefield. You may return target, target card from your graveyard to your hand. Law Mage's Binding. Trepanation Blade. Three generic for an equipment. Whenever equipped creature attacks, defending player reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals a land card. The creature gets plus 1 plus 0 oh until end of turn. For each card revealed this way, the creature puts the. the, the creature puts. The, the player puts the revealed cards into his or her graveyard. He equips for two. Uh, Mana Tithe. Spawning Ground. Six generic, two green for an aura that enchants a land. Uh, enchanted land has tap, create a 5-5 five, five green beast creature token with trample. A little spendy, but it's got some nice payoff if you can activate it a few times. Maldivian Rage from Cold Snap. 
Uh, X and a red for an instant target attacking creature gets plus X plus O until end of turn. Draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Pressure point. Winged shepherd. Choking tethers. Skitter eel. Tidy conclusion. Reckless imp. Dual shot. Falcon wrath reaver. Harrow. Uh, Frontier mastodon. Draconic disciple. One generic red and green for a 2 2. Human shaman. Tap to add one man of any color. Pay 7, tap and sag it. Create a 5 5 red dragon creature token with flying. Uh, Pilgrim's Eye. Three generic for a 1 1 flyer. Enter the battlefield. Let me search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Shuffle. River Boa. Uh, one generic and a green for a 2 1 island walk. Pay 1 green. Regenerate it. Michaelith. Michael Loth. Uh, three generic, two green for a 4 4. Fungus with Devour 2. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token for each plus one plus one counter on Michael off. Well, that could be fun in a Fungus deck. And Frozen Ether as our fifth doubled up foil. Um, yeah, so I guess that'll do it for this box. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel, please. Um, hope we'll see you next time. Thanks.